Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Welcome back to our Jenkins tutorial. So in a previous lecture, we have created all these three jobs manually. Okay. So in this lecture, we'll create one another job. Okay. And we'll create that job using a Jenkins file. Okay. So uh, what is Jenkins files? So if you recall previously how we create a job and configure. Okay. We go to new item. We give it some name and then something, some name, and we choose freestyle project. Okay. After creating a project, we go inside the project and go to configure section and create and configure all these build uh, steps and post build steps and everything uh, manually okay so in this lecture what we'll do we'll try to configure uh, some project and we'll try to configure some add configure build step but using a Jenkins files okay uh, let me show you how so basically Jenkins file is a text file that contains the definition of the Jenkins pipeline okay so like build step, post build steps and everything. And we push that uh, Jenkins file into our Git repository. So whenever we push something to our Git repository, it will read our Jenkins file, which is on the root directory of our uh, Git repository and it will configure our pipeline accordingly. Okay, so without wasting a time, I'll show you how. For this, we'll go to new item and we'll type Gen Kins file project. But for this project, we'll not choose a freestyle project. Okay. We'll go for a pipeline project and we'll go okay. So in description, I'll add a description. This for this project uh, will not define any kind of uh, Git repository or anything okay so we'll leave everything like this and if you can see there's nothing has been configured as of now no github project no build triggers and there is no option to configure like build steps or anything okay so you you have two options okay you can either upload your Jenkins file into your Git repository and since we are not using any kind of Git repository in this project you can write your Jenkins uh, file code in here. Okay, let me show you how. So this is uh, the test Jenkins pipeline script which I have created for this project. Okay, so at the top of the line you add a pipeline. Okay, and then you open your code with a curly braces and type agent any. Okay, so suppose if your Jenkins is running on uh, master slave kind of architecture then you then you can define on which node or agent you want to run this uh, Jenkins file uh, okay so you can define it here but for this project there is no agent running apart from this server so we'll type agent on agent any agent and now we'll define the age stages okay so we can define uh, like up to so let me show you how Okay, so our first stage under stages is initial stage. Okay, so under initial stage, I have defined what we will be doing under this stage. Okay, so I am just echoing a simple message that this is stage one, and another stage we uh, we have is build stage. Okay, and in build stage again, I am defining a simple step what we want to configure in that build stage. Uh, again, I'm just for sake of this sim. I'm, I'm trying to keep it simple as possible. And again, I, had, I have created another stage that is deploy. Okay, in that also, I'm just echoing a simple message. This is stage three. Okay, and then we'll close all the curly braces and then we'll cro close this uh, stage parameter and then pipeline like this. Okay. 
don't get confused we'll try to replicate our previous uh, job using Jenkins files in our upcoming lecture okay so this is just for sake of understanding that is why I'm trying to keep it keep it simple okay then you can go save all right so see now you have another uh, new setting or I, I would say a new uh, kind of feature available in here that is stage view currently there is no data available the pipeline has not yet run okay so what are we waiting for I don't know let's go ahead and build now so our job has been scheduled and it's and you can see it's running and it has been run successfully as uh, since how you can see since it's going to turn to blue and there you can see a stage view has also been created and it's pretty nice uh, you know as compared to our previous build job we have uh, two uh, three R stages defined here initial stage build stage and deploy stage okay and how much time it took it to build it okay so you can see the logs in here also you uh, just hover your cursor over this and go to logs and see this is our stage one which I have echoed for our initial uh, stage and it has been printed in here okay and now if I go for this logs sweet so it's working now let's go back to our console output which we had, were doing for our earlier jobs console output see pretty neat right so uh, we have everything running on our console also this is stage one our initial stage has been built and it has run uh, the command which we have run on the step that is which needs to be run on an initial stage and the same for initial for stage build and the same for stage deploy okay so I hope you get the idea what is Jenkins file and how we can configure a pipeline using uh, using a Jenkins file so in our upcoming lecture we'll try to replicate our previous job which we have configured manually okay one of this job and we'll try to configure this job through our Jenkins file okay so I hope you understand the basic of the Jenkins files uh, thank you